Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Red Claw, welcome back to an episode of Formula 1 2020, my team career. So I'm back over here, i uh, have got to cut out like the activity stuff at the start, and I'm just going to bring it straight to uh, the, well, the qualifying, so let's uh, get right into it. So here we are on my first lap of qualifying for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix uh, suit, uh, uh, suit, uh, yeah, uh, race, uh, racetrack that suits our car a lot better than Monaco and all of the previous uh, racetracks uh, because uh, it has more straight so we lose less time in the corners because well, there's less of a like uh, that back straight like, uh, like long straight you probably spend about like 15 seconds on there or something so that's a huge uh, portion of the lap just uh, sped on that straight over there just losing less time than we would in Monaco or in Barcelona uh, so for my first lap over here I'm not really sure what set, uh, what kind of setup I have I can't really remember but I see over there a couple mistakes here a couple mistakes there uh, into the castle section over here uh, I actually mess up, break too late and damage my front wing so I need to go and repair that because yeah, we're not going to set a good time with a broken front wing. So on to our second flying lap over here with a repaired front wing and a fresh set of uh, softs. Uh, so you don't really have, well, uh, whoop, nearly, <laughs> nearly going to the wall over there, so you don't really have a time to kind of uh, see how well we did last lap because we of course didn't set a time so we don't really we can't really compare uh, we get the breaking point over there a lot better over there uh, so I'm pretty sure at the start I was running uh, I'm pretty sure it was so nearly but touched all over there I'm pretty sure at the start I was running a setup of 5-6 and uh, I'm pretty sure this uh, lap I was already on 6-6 six, six because um, I, I just needed more like ability I guess you could call it it's like more cornering ability so into the castle section again can we mess it up yet again of course we can uh, into into the wall over there damage my front wing yet again so I need to go and repair it again and uh, pretty sure uh, this is like the last lap we could possibly have so if we mess up again and uh, we're not going to be able to go out yet over like once more because it's just going to take like too long but we're not going to have enough time to get like a lap around and then start our another flying lap because we've only got 4 minutes left it takes like a minute 40 to get uh, past here like 40 seconds to repair uh, the kind of like front wing damage if we did have that and uh, like, the, like the change of tyres and then the out lap all takes too long so this is our final uh, chance to set a time because we haven't set a time yet uh, so let's just uh, keep on going into the castle section over here. Can we mess it up for a third time in a row? It does not look. There we go. We make it across uh, with uh, what was actually quite a nice a couple corners over there from me on a controller. So I uh, can't really ask for too much, but that was quite good. Uh, so into this uh, corner over here. Actually hit the curb. And that spins the car out, damages the front wing, and oh, ruins my lap because it was actually on for a very good lap. Uh, I back up over here, uh, George Russell crashes into me, I uh, actually get a 5, uh, yeah they go 5 uh, plays grid penalty. I'm not going to do too much as I'm already in uh, oh, last. Over there, uh, George Russell hits me yet again, spins out, as, as you can see over here, P22. Uh, so yeah really not the best as you can see all the way down Jordan King in uh, 21st I'm kind of surprised he's not up in like P18 or something uh, but I guess let's see what we can do in the race A warm welcome to all of you watching at home to today's Azerbaijan Grand Prix and a race that in its short history has already proven no stranger to drama. A 
fourth row start is just about as likely to give you a podium as a pole position would. And remember, in 2017 and 2018, both Lance Stroll and then Sergio Perez took surprise podiums here. Baku City Circuit then, an unpredictable 3.7 mile track around the streets of the Azerbaijan capital. 20 turns for our drivers to navigate today, including the infamous Turn 8, one of the tightest and most challenging corners of the season. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Let me ask you about racing. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Charles Leclerc and Perez, Albon, Sainz, Raikkonen and Daniel Ricciardo. Kvyat, Ocon, Kevin Magnussen and Grosjean, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Lando Norris and George Russell, Latifi, King, Gasly and Red. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So here we are, I'm going to go with the first strategy. I'm going to put just a bit more fuel in the car and off we go for the formation laps. I'm going to cut most of this out like I always do. Because I just warm up my tyres, weave about, warm up the tyres and uh, warm up the brakes as well. Just get ready for the start of the race. Uh, so there you go, uh, of course last, uh, but Lance Stroll and Pierre Gasly actually got a uh, great penalty too. And if I would have actually set a time, I'm pretty sure I would have and, uh, and not crashed into Russell. I'm pretty sure I would have started P21 uh, because Gasly got a 10 place grid penalty. Well, but we are starting last over here. Uh, let's get ready. It's game saving. And here it is, rich mix on, let's lights out and away we go, uh, overtake mode on, we get a really good start once again like we always do, it's kind of weird, down the inside of so many cars, up to P11 straight away, up the grid has helped me quite a lot to kind of prepare for a challenge like that, down the inside yet again we actually damage, uh, well, run into the back of Raikkonen over there, uh, luckily we don't spin them out, luckily we don't get any uh, time penalties, we're up to P9 already, it might have not been the cleanest like overtake, or like the second kind of like overtake on Raikkonen and, and Ricardo over there, but well you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, up to P9 already uh, after starting P22, so that's already a lot of places gained, uh, as I said uh, Formula 1 the grid by the series has helped me quite a lot uh, to kind of get these good starts and kind of sneak in where others wouldn't there so into the cast section as you can see I'm taking it really slowly I uh, don't want to crash in the race on lap one because that would just be bad <laughs> I'll make for a really short video be over like around eight minutes or something uh, so yeah let's keep going uh, we're kind of keeping behind Sainz over here, he's kind of pulling away, but then we're kind of catching him up in different corners. So over here, now the long straight over here. So this uh, lap, 8 kilometers one lap, as you can see only 26 laps, because it just takes so long to get around one lap. I'm pretty sure it's the second longest uh, track on the calendar, I'm pretty sure Spa is still longer, I think. So it does take uh, around 1 minute 40 or like 138 for a uh, well we go down the inside over there on uh, Carlos Sainz over there he comes back over here are we going to be able to uh, uh, get the position over here I'm pretty sure we are there you go up to P8 so as I said uh, oh, it just takes a bit shorter to do a lap of spa but uh, then uh, that might actually be a longer circuit, I'm not too sure. So on to lap 6, the first kind of set of uh, pit stops over here. So we get up to P6, which we haven't been in for quite some time. 
And yeah, we're boxing this lap two for the hard tyres, which we're gonna go on until the end. So I hope they're not as bad as they were in like Australia. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like where we used them, and they were just like absolutely terrible. So to the pits over here. Let's see what kind of uh, job our mechanics can pull off over here. So there you go, 2.5 seconds, I actually had to wait because of uh, Albon over here, so I actually uh, well, kind of wasted like half a second to a second over there. Uh, but out in P20, I'm pretty sure everyone's on like a different uh, strategy, I'm not really too sure. But yeah, on lap 8, P20, uh, but we are on the hard tyres which we're going to be on until the end of the race, so we just need to kind of buckle in. Uh, on lap 8, like at the end of it, uh, King and like a couple of us are in for the stops, so we actually come out in P17, which is uh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, we're just climbing up the positions, slowly but surely. We've got Albon ahead of us, and then Latifi ahead, ahead of him. On lap 9, uh, Albon actually overtook him, Latifi is right in front of us in the Williams. He gets quite a bad exit over there, I'm pretty sure he's on old tyres, I'm not really sure because he is on uh, mediums, I'm pretty sure that is, I can't really see. Well we make a move over there, I don't really want, wouldn't want to make a move, uh, but we we'll, uh, made it happen, so there you go, I'll take it, P16, not the worst move, but it was actually quite good. On to lap 10 over here, uh, Carlos Sainz has closed in quite a lot. And the AI on this uh, straight use up like all of their ERS, I'm pretty sure. As you can see, Carlos Sides, even when we get DRS, he's just closed in so fast. Uh, we actually have to well, go on the brakes way later. And uh, yeah, we keep P16. We've got Gasly ahead of us. On to P11. Oh, P not P11. Lap 11. Same thing happens. Carlos Sides uh, behind me just gets a good run out for first like uh, of the last like two quarters but we uh, go in ahead and we actually make a massive mistake over there I got the throttle okay, way too way too early and actually damaged my front wing so it might have been going well but it's kind of turned into like another nightmare uh, like uh, we had in Monaco or Barcelona or any other race but look at this Jordan King out of the race virtual safety car we just about make it past Gasly, I'm not really sure if that was after the safety car or not. We did go up to P15 and the virtual safety car, there only lasts about 20 seconds. I'm not really sure where he actually uh, well, got disqualified, or not disqualified, but I make a massive mistake in the castle section once again for, for the third time uh, this weekend. Completely shit, uh, completely cut off my front wing, so I need to box. Because, yeah, we're just going to waste so much time uh, kind of running with this front wing. So I'm not really sure where the king actually got, like, taken out or, like, where he retired. Uh, don't really see on the minimap. Uh, but there's a couple cars in front of us. Uh, Grosjean and Russell, who have pitted. I'm pretty sure started on the mediums. So they're going on the hards. I'm going to go on the mediums and a... Uh, uh, fresh okay, new wing so let's hopefully uh, keep this one until the end uh, so Sainz also pitted I'm not really sure why uh, he did change to mediums too so I'm not really sure if he had like some front wing damage too or something I'm not too sure on to lap 13 over here there's the Williams of Latifi over there Magnus actually was in the pits too but we managed to just about jump Latifi can we Oh, it's side by side into the corner, but Latifi has to back out uh, because well, he didn't want to go into the into the corner over there. But yeah, we're seven seconds behind Magnussen over there in the Haas. Uh, on to lap 14, it's a couple of uh, cars, uh, Gasly, or oh, just Gasly, in the pits, so he managed to get P18. Uh, so we're kind of clawing that back the positions slowly but surely. It could have definitely been a way better weekend if we wouldn't have uh, broken my uh, front wing. Well, first of all, if we set a good time, and then if we actually 
I didn't break my foot wing over there because even if we had like the bad qualifying but if I didn't like break my foot wing over there I would have probably been up to P10 by now maybe uh, so yeah just mistakes cost us points and uh, in the last couple of races this race too maybe so there's only six laps left and I'm not gonna be able to claw back eight positions but I'm gonna try my best we've got DRS open and down the inside of Magnuson over there, late breaking. He'll nearly do the same thing as I did a couple laps ago, breaking my front wing off. But there you go, up to P17. And on, on to lap 22, I actually caught up to Russell quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to have DRS over here, he isn't, so you probably know what is coming, uh, or coming up over here. There you go, DRS open, just, just look how fast we're closing in. 331 kilometers an hour they go break in and they go up to p16 on to lap 23 so this actually uh, shows me like some kind of good news to be honest uh, that we can actually or claw back the positions even if they have like hard tires or even if uh, russell was on mediums i could have probably clawed back that uh, that time and overtook him so it just shows that Oh, we don't have enough aero for kind of circuits like Monaco and Spain, but in circuits that kind of focus on, like, like uh, top speed and have like less corners, uh, we uh, excel at at the moment, which is good uh, because next race coming up is the Canadian Grand Prix. So on, uh, I'm pretty sure Sunday, uh, we're gonna we'll have the Canadian Grand Prix coming up in my team career and hopefully that goes well nearly as well as this but with better qualified and without breaking the front wing and the uh, Canadian Grand Prix is probably my favorite track uh, out of all of them uh, that and, and the Hockenheim ring those are my probably two favorites uh, sadly the Hockenheim ring of course isn't here this year uh, but yeah my favorite uh, well, my favourite one this like year, this season, the Canadian Grand Prix. So hopefully, we can do well uh, because it is quite a fun track. There's mostly straight, so that's why I'm hoping we can actually get into the points. Maybe finish, uh, maybe like be our best like finish, which was seventh. I'm pretty sure, no eighth, uh, but the best qualified was seventh. But hopefully, we can get a good setup for the uh, Canadian Grand Prix and. Yeah, get some points, maybe P8, maybe go one further, P7, uh, because yeah, that would really uh, mean a lot, because the last time we scored points was in China, I'm pretty sure, or P10, and well, we're still on five points, on to, uh, on to well, the eighth race over here, so it would really be nice to get more points, so a cross line in P16, could have been better, uh, but like, at least it shows that we have a decent car. Another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. So there you go, another Mercedes 1-2. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've actually won every single race this season so far, I'm not too sure. Uh, there you go, us in P16 from P22. It was quite good, not good enough. Canadian Grand Prix will go better, fingers crossed. Uh, Jordan King, I'm not really sure where he DNF'd. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Hopefully he can score some points soon enough. Uh, too, because that would, that would be good. 
I'm not really sure how it has, hasn't scored any points, but well, I guess I can check that and tell you in the, like, next time. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.